warning. It's a Batman. What? In fact, there's a warning that some of our chips are very hot. What? There's a warning on the bag. This is not sponsored by Doritos, by the way, but we got uh, some Doritos roulette. Do you want some? No. You don't? Oh, come on. Too hot. Boys, you think this Tabasco chocolate is any bad? No. My folks just got back from Canada, so chocolate we got to... can't be bad. Yeah, cho dude, chocolate's amazing. I'm just, I'm curious how this is going to be, because I actually got an ulcer from, from some hot stuff, if you remember. Okay, really quick, we got some mail time. Remember how I said in the last video we had a pack of, like, 50 cards from a lot that I got on eBay? I think this is it, because it's, like, it's really thick. So, really quick, we're going to get this open and up. We were talking about Doritos and whatnot in Canada. Where did I put my knife? I can't find my knife. Luckily, I found it. All right, so, um, as I said in the last video, let's do this. Normally, I don't like buying these, but, like, I've just been, like, on a, on a real hot streak as far as, like, getting lucky with these things. We're also joined by Gloria, but she doesn't want to be on camera. It's, come, come on a little this way. There you go. That way I'm not crazy and I'm not talking to myself. Even though most of my videos I am alone and talking to myself. Aww. Yeah, this has definitely got to be like a like a 50. Like, look at that. Wow, it's a package inside of a package. Well, I mean, I think it's for, for shipping purposes. Just toss that off to the side. Close my knife really quick. Oh, I even... I, I kind of got the... Careful, with the, man. But hey, hey, it's just an envelope. It doesn't matter. Is there a package inside the envelope? <laughs> That's like, like package-ception. Woo! Oh, it's, yeah, it's packaged okay. inside. What do you know? It Look. It should be. It's, oops. It definitely me. should be. It's like, that's actually pretty cool. And, oh, it's it's got the double-sided tape, too. That's, wow. that's a nice touch. Fancy. Dude, this guy definitely went into it. Trap of Board Eraser is the, the first card that I can see. Let me see if I can't figure out how to get this open. Let me see, I see. Is, uh, is, that, a, is that a hyperbole? Or was that word? No. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say that? No. Okay, then. I need, a, I need to get a dictionary, because I'm <laughs> learning so many good words. Gaia Soul Combustible... Wait. Combustible Collective. So is this like a, one of the Gaia the Fierce Knights car cards? That actually is pretty badass. I'm going to put these over here if you want to take a peek. Oops. I threw the envelope again. No. Goblin of the... Goblin out of the fr frying pan. I think this card's um, artwork was censored here in America, because that's, that's not as it is in Japan. White Horned Dragon. Ooh, that actually is pretty freaking neat. I actually like that. Only a six stars, so it's one sacrifice for 2200. That's actually not bad at all. Needle Burrower. That's actually pretty cool. I think this is one of the cards that um, Merrick used against Joey in the anime, I think. It kind of looks like that, uh, that scorpion thing that he played. But I don't think that's actually it. Baby Dragon. Who can forget Baby Dragon? That actually is pretty cool. I love Baby Dragon. And then we got Rivalry of the Warlords. I'm not actually sure uh, if this is any good, but it's a continuous trap, so we'll, we'll take a look at it. Spiritual Energy um, Settle Machine. Hmm. I'm not actually sure about that either, but it's a, it's, a, it's a continuous spell. Ojama Black. Dude, Ojama Black is freaking awesome. Dude, all of the Ojama archetypes are actually pretty cool. Um, Macro Cosmos. Ooh, I've, I've heard a lot about this card from Galactic God. Um, he always is talking about Macro, Macro Cosmos, but I'm not actually sure what it does. I'm gonna have to look at, look into that. Put this off to the side so I can read it later. Orb of Yuskea. Ooh, nice. Whiptail Crow! Oh my god, I got a story about Whiptail Crow. So, back in the day, I had like a hundred of these things. Like, Whiptail Crow was the only card that I would pull in packs. Like, every single booster pack I bought, like, all of them, I'm not kidding, every single booster pack that I had, had Whiptail Crow. And now that I'm a 22-year-old adult, I, I don't have any more Whiptail Crow. So this is my only copy of Whiptail Crow right here. So that's that's awesome. Thank you, by the way. Um, I probably should... I, I'm actually not going to read this guy's name off uh, off the packaging. Mirror of Yada. That's supposed, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be part of the Yada lock. Ray and Temperature. That was weird. I've never seen this card before. It's a Light Fairy. Only level 3, so it's no sacrifices to play. Volcanic Eruption. Nice. Black Stego. I think I actually have one of these. It's a, it's a dinosaur effect. Level 4, no sack. 
Your opponent's crew is selected for attack. Okay, cool. So this card can change his battle position um, just by being attacked. That's pretty nice. Bad reaction to Samachi. It's continuous trap again. I'm getting a lot of uh, cards for uh, Uriah. That's actually pretty nice. Soul Tiger. Woo. Four stars, Beast Earth, 2100 defense, zero attack. So really, it's just a wall, kind of. Symbol of Heritage. It's actually pretty nice. It's, a, it's an equipped... That's pretty nice. I'll have to read that in a minute. I'm going to put that off the side to read. Uh, trans, transmigration break. Another continuous trap. That's actually pretty nice. Twin-headed fire dragon. I actually have one of these, but it's actually really destroyed. Like, all of the corners. Like, what happened was, is I, the card that I have of this got put through the wash, but it survived miraculously. I'm pretty sure I'll, uh, I'll bust it out of my... Um, uh, what is it? My, my, my binder. I got a new binder, by the way. I'll show that in a minute. Uh, Spike, Seedra, Sea Serpent, Water. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of support for this right now, even though there's uh, if it's a five-star. So it takes one sack. Gemini Trap Hole. That's actually pretty nice. A lot of the Trap Hole cards are phenomenal. Ryu Ran. Not the Toon Ryu Ran, but regular Ryu Ran. 22, 2600 spread. It's a dragon. Fire dragon. Really Eternal Rest. That's dumb. Destroy all monsters with equipped spells. Nice. Or equipped with spells. That's nice. Or I guess just equipped cards, because then that then if you if it's just equipped spells, that leaves out Kunai with chain. But that's very selective. Mind Protector, level three psychic. Um i dude, I don't I don't the psychic archetype is actually really undersupported. Another luster dragon. Yes. Dude. Luster Dragon, one of my all-time favorite dragons. That's that's nice. Mystic Walk. Um, it's uh, supposed to be uh, based on, a, I guess, a walk from uh, Chinese restaurants. Or I guess it's also Japanese, too, but they, they call it something different. DD Dynamite. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. A Skull Knight number two. It's a fiend, not a zombie. That's weird, I guess. And then uh, Mirage Tribute. Nice. Ooh. Ooh, what is this? Dark Bat. I've never seen this before. Ooh, a Thunder Dragon. So that means I have two Thunder Dragons, and I can now play Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. That's nice. Here, really quick, let me get it. Thunder Dragon. Now I got two of them. Yes, I need that. Slot Machine is actually one of uh, Bandit Keith's cards from the from the original anime. Fa Ren Kuzan is uh, it's another one of the, the the Ren trap cards. I think I have like three of these, or at least the, not three of that card, but three of the variant. Star Boy, nice Man Eater. I actually saw this on eBay as I suggested for like ninety nine cents. So all of these fifty cards cost me like five bucks. So not only did I get a lot of stuff that I needed, like Thunder Dragon, but I also got a ninety nine cent card. Whoops, basically for free. <laughs> So I debated on that because like I wanted that for the collection because I'm trying to get one one of every card, and that would have cost me 99 cents, but I got it for free basically because I bought all these cards for five bucks. Telekinetic Shocker, that's actually pretty cool. This video has been going on for eight and a half minutes. I just noticed that it's taking me forever. Scar Scout of the Dark World, I'm pretty sure I actually have one of these. That's actually pretty cool. Thunder Ruler, nice. I don't have one of these. Claudian Squall, it's continuous spa uh, spell. Kind of looks like something out of Naruto, if you ask me, with the with the clouds, with the way they look. I don't know, that's just me. I just am looking at that all the top of my head. Mario Katai, it's, uh, I think I've actually seen this in the anime. It's a water aqua, so tons of support for this. It's an effect monster. Advanced Ritual Art, I actually just bought three of these for 99 cents, so now I got four of them. Well. That's actually pretty nice. Advanced Ritual Art allows you to bypass any ritual summoning and just summon it. So that's pretty good. Unless it's specified otherwise on the card. Yeah. So like cards like uh, Demise, Kingdom of Armageddon, you have to use End of the World for that. Uh, Kribenes, I don't remember how to pronounce that. DD Trainer, that's actually pretty nice. It's a, a one star. Uh, this thing's got the same stats as Alexandrite Dragon, except it's reversed. That's pretty cool. Huh. King Fog, uh, 1,900 spread, level 3. It's a Dark Fiend, so a lot of support for that too. Red Archery Girl, aqua, Water Aqua, so that's, that's again, re really well supported. Spring of Rebirth, it's a continuous trap, increase your life, wait, 
life points by 500 for every time a monster returns to the field from the owner's hand. For every time, wait, what? So, like, if you bounce cards back to the hand, you can increase your life points by just putting them back. That actually is, like, a counter to, like, a lot of, like, the current meta, because, like, there's a lot of synchro monsters that'll just bounce cards back to your hand. Like, oh, hey, I don't like that card on the field. Put it back in your hand. And then the next turn, you're like, all right, cool. So it's the next turn. I can just place it again. Uh, so then, you know, you just increase your life points, and now you're making his his job a pain in the ass. The Puppet of Magic... Wait, the Puppet of Magic Dark Ruler. Puppet... Wait, Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler. Okay, of, Ma of Dark Ruler. Okay, that's my bad. Just a regular spell. And last, but probably least, I'm not sure. Let me let me read this. The Law of the Normal. Okay, so... And then activate this card. Your five face up level two or there are monsters. That's very situational. I don't... Nah, I don't like it. So really quick, I'm going to read these two off. Symbol of Heritage, the uh, this equipped. You can only activate this card while there are three monster cards with the same name in your graveyard. Okay, so it's very selective. Select one of those monsters, a special summon to your side of the field. Equip this card. When this card is destroyed, destroy the equipped monster. What? So, like, wait, what? That's that's a really dumb effect, if you ask me. And that's just my opinion. Macrocosmos, really quick, because I want to read this for myself. You can special summon one Helios, the Primordial Sun, from your hand or deck when this card is on the field. Um, okay, any card sent to the graveyard is removed from play instead. Ooh. Ooh. So, it's, instead of, okay, so, like, Basically, as long as the card's in the graveyard, you can get it back or use its effect. Like, a lot of monsters' effects specifically stay, uh, excuse me, stay in the graveyard. Oh. So, like, cards like Elemental Hero Necros, when it's in the graveyard, you can once, I think once per duel or whatever, you can special summon a Elemental Hero or, I guess, any monster that's above level 5. So, like, anything that's, like, 4 or below, you can just place, unless stated otherwise on the card's effect. But... Cards that are, like, five and up need a tribute, right? So, with with Macrocosmos, instead of going to the graveyard, it just gets removed from the game entirely. Like, if they, like you just put it in your pocket, you put it in your backpack, it just cannot be used for that particular game. That's insane. So that's going to eliminate a lot of effects. So, uh, yeah, that was a 50-card um, grab. I pulled some uh, really good stuff, some stuff that I needed, um... I really can't think of how many duplicates I got. Other than Luster Dragon, I can't, off the top of my head, name any duplicates that I got. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, wish Gloria a happy good day. We're going to go off. I, what do you want to get? Like some lunch or something? Sure. All right. By the way, um, leave a comment. Leave a like. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube for more openings. I know I'm really off to the side, but, like, I guess I just might, the way I have my seat, I'm just more comfortable with this. Plus, you can see my lizards in the background. Peace out. You guys have a nice day. Like, comment, subscribe. Watch my stuff, damn it. <laughs> no, but uh, I thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, this series has been really well supported. We're getting likes. We're getting comments on a lot of these videos. I just really want to say thank you to you, the fan. That's you. I'm breaking the fourth wall like Deadpool. I actually just saw that, by the way, last night. <laughs> I am really procrastinating. I'm going to get up on out of here. You guys take it easy. Good night.